don't know what this vlog is going to be about. Maybe it'll be a bits and bobs one again. We'll see. Maybe put things together and make a vlog that hopefully you'll find interesting. Anyway, it's really good. In fact, it has such good ingredients that I, it, even though it's dog food, I think I could eat it. I think it'd be totally fine for me to eat it. And, you know, maybe I think I'm just going to start packing this stuff away and to get ready for the apop apopolix. I can't say that word. The apopolix. I can't say that word. What the heck is the word? Table talk time. <laughs> Here I am again. I am eating the first thing I've eaten today, and it's quite late. It's almost noon. Um, I haven't eaten anything yet. I've been running around doing the chores that need to be done when you know the cold and the winter is coming. There's a lot of them. Things like taking in my hoses so that my outside spigots don't freeze. I've had that happen to me because I forgot. Uh, I leave that so late in the year. I keep, I put a big post-it on my kitchen window today, or last night, just so I wouldn't forget, because I just forget everything these days. Um, maybe I always have. I don't know. So I'm doing that, but I'm starving now, so I'm taking a break from the chores I've been running around doing. Have you, any of you, maybe you've heard about the overnight, or oatmeal, or the refrigerator oatmeal, I don't know what they call it, but we you just put the ingredients together and you put it in your refrigerator and then it does what it needs to do without having to cook it. I happen to like oatmeal, but I don't eat it a lot because I hate the sticky, messy pan that you end up with. I hate cleaning that. Um, so I thought I'd give it a try and it's become my new favorite thing. I'm eating it all the time. I have it in here. I'm about to have it. Uh, if you have, this was a gift from my sister-in-law. This is a top that goes on this mug. So all you do is put a cup of oats and then a cup of whatever liquid. It could be water, milk, almond milk, oat milk, whatever you want to put in there. I've been using almond milk. Uh, a cup of oats, a cup of almond milk, and uh, put it in the refrigerator overnight. And now I've just added a pinch of salt, some honey, tons of cinnamon, and a little bit of vanilla. And it's amazing. It's really, really good. So... Hey, for those of you who haven't tried it and you like oatmeal, give it a try. Very good. And no messy pan. I have a big delivery of hay coming today, so I was down in the barn restocking what is left in there. Making space, and on my way back, I was walking through my flower beds from this last summer, and this is what I found. November roses. One last gift. A November rose. Roses, I should say, but yeah, roses in November. It's like the last kiss of a summer romance. And also, here it is, it's November 18th. And I have, I had different pots around my front door with different flowers in them. And I had, uh, among the flowers, I had two different kinds of petunias. One was a pale yellow, which was pretty. And then a very dark purple. Well, the, the yellow one, did the normal life cycle that they seem to all have always done where they get all leggy and they quit flowering quite a long time ago my purple petunia that thing is still going i can't believe it now i have covered it up a couple times when it got i knew it was going to be cold but it's still flowering it's unbelievable it still has green on it usually the, you know the, the green goes away i don't know what variety of purple petunia that is but if i can find it again next year i'm definitely buying it
Mm. This is so good on a cold day. A hot mug feels great in your hands. Thank you, Diana, for this mug. I love it. One of the chores that I have been doing today is I, well, I started it yesterday. I'm sure like many of you, I have a junk drawer in my kitchen and it really should be uh, uh, 50 times bigger <laughs> than it is. <laughs> what is it about junk drawers? They, you know, they just keep accumulating and accumulating and accumulating to the point where it gets so heavy that it's going to break if you don't go through it. So you have to go through it and take everything out and redo it. And then over time, it becomes that way again. Well, I finally decided to get in there and clean it out. It was frustrating because, oh, months and months ago, I don't even remember, maybe a year ago, I, I had a project where I needed um, a hex wrench, I think they're called. You know, they look like this. So I needed, and I knew I had a set. It says all the different, you know, sizes, little ones and big ones. Uh, and I tore my house apart trying to find it. I get so frustrated. That's one thing that makes me so frustrated when I can't find something, when I know I've seen it really recently, and then I can't find the darn thing. Oh, if you want to hear Linda swear, that's what I'm swearing, running around my house looking like that, looking for that, just tearing things apart. Well, I couldn't find it. So I went and bought a new one. <laughs> and then I cleaned out my junk drawer and I found it. Ah! So maddening. Now I have two. And I rarely ever use these things, and now I have two sets. And watch, I'll put them, it'll get so buried, I'll come years from now, I'll need them again, and I won't be able to find it. I'll go buy a third one. Ah, Linda! I hate waste. Oh, you know what? I don't feel so bad now, unless they are the same. I don't know if there's a difference. One is inch, inches and one is in metric. Does that mean they're different sizes? I don't know. If you know the answer, let me know. Also, I, I, I am on a reorganizing of my house sort of campaign, you know, getting ready to do Christmas decorations and, you know, uh, just a general straightening up reorganizing and in the process I found this package of uh, paper bags. I don't even know why I have them. <laughs> I bought them for something. It's not like I sent Jake to school with a bagged lunch when he was young. Cause they, you know, nowadays you just put in money online and then they go and buy their lunches. But um, I thought I was, I was watching YouTube and I saw this project for the holidays and for those of you who have already seen this and know about it and have done it, I, you know, bear with me. But for those of you who don't, who haven't seen this on YouTube, I'm going to try it and see if it really works as nicely as it seems to on there. All right? So stay tuned. All right. Well, you don't need a lot of stuff, obviously. You need the bag of little paper bags and a glue gun and a pair of scissors. If you don't have a glue gun, I recommend getting one because they're pretty amazing for a whole variety of things. This is a large one. They come in different sizes. Um, but yeah, they're good, good to have. And so this particular project, I think for those of you who don't want to spend a lot of money and have like big areas that you need to decorate, which could cost a lot of money. If this works, I think this is a good way to try to fill those spaces. So anyway, let's begin. We'll see how it goes. All right, trying to do this one-handed could be tricky, but I should put my GoPro on, but I'm too lazy. So I make a tea, grab a bag, oh, I got two there. Grab a bag, stick it together, and they recommend like seven bags. You can, so that they say whatever, you, for some reason you use an odd number, I don't know why. All right, let me put this phone down and see if I can make this go faster. So then they say, 
cut this triangle, and just shape the top, this curve, and then cut out, you can cut out along the sides. smoother on YouTube. <laughs> ah, okay. All right. That one. through all of that bottom bag layers. Everything triple. Okay. Get in there, folks. show you the mess on YouTube. And yes, I am using a pizza box. <laughs> to protect this counter top from the glue. Okay, let's get some glue here. what you end up with <laughs> it's pretty cool right yeah I think it's it's amazingly pretty this is my end I I didn't glue that part right I didn't glue it perfectly in line next time next one I'll do better on but as you can see then you just obviously you attach a ribbon at the top whatever kind you want I think a natural brown I like what I have over there was a natural brown rope is gonna look best with it um, but yeah very uh, very cool. You like that? I like it. I like it. <laughs> and here's the second one. I think I like this one even better. I just cut one, one hole. I think that looks nicer. And uh, next, I'm gonna work on making a smaller one. <laughs> so I made some smaller ones. This is with seven bags, and I cut out three of them, but not all of them. But I thought that would end up even, but I don't know. It, it doesn't seem to, so oh, there's a hole there. I'm not sure. Anyway, and then I thought what it would look like if it was less of them. So this is with five, but I <laughs> changed the pattern. Uh, I got to do it again where I don't because alternating it, it, it doesn't end up right for some reason. So again, <laughs> not good at math. I'm gonna try this one again, but leave them all like that. But I think they're pretty and it's fun. It's so quick So anyway folks give it a try oh, Hey has arrived
Michael's Craft Store. Nagway for dog food and horse food. Coffee break. Okay, it's several hours later. I've done more outside chores. And now I'm back inside thinking of maybe doing another project. Don't know how this one's going to go, but it's one I've been thinking about doing. So we're going to give it a go. So I need two hands for this project. So I won't be filming while I'm doing it, but basically I bought this and I had these. I picked them up from my yard because when you have big pine trees, you have lots of pine cones. So I wanted to try to make, I've been planning to do this every year, never get around to it. So this year, I'm gonna try. This, by the way, is another sidewalk crack plant. Then I remember, I think it was two summers ago? I don't think it was last summer, but uh, a little tiny petunia sprouted up at the end of the summer through between the cracks of the pavers of my front walkway. And this year, at the very end, which is this getting into fall, in the little rocks right up along the house, I saw this tiny little impatient trying to grow so late in the year. So just like the little petunia, I brought it in and now it's growing and flowering inside. We'll see how long it can go on. Well, this is turning into a spend the day with Linda kind of day. <laughs> Here I am now having dinner. Of course, it isn't late. It's four o'clock, but that's kind of around the time that I like to eat my main dinner. And I'm still on the old time anyway, so it's really five o'clock. I hate when they change. Daylight savings time. I really, really hate it. Um, so yeah, I just was getting hungry in the middle of my wreath project and the dogs were hungry, so I fed the dogs. I'm going to talk about that in a second when I fed them. but And then I just whipped up some pasta, as you saw. It, I watched a recipe once, uh, some young Italian man and his very Italian mother, and they whipped up a broccoli pasta dish. And I thought, hmm, it was very good. This, I don't remember if this is even what they did. I just threw my own thing together. I just sauteed a bunch of Vidalia onions while I was cooking the pasta. I threw the broccoli into the pasta while it was cooking. You have to leave enough time for the broccoli to get very soft because you want it to break up, you don't want it to be too, too hard. Uh, and then threw in some, put it all back into the saute pan with the onions, some of the pasta water, and some sour cream, and some Parmesan, and salt. That's really all that's in it. Could add some pepper. I forgot the pepper. I would add a little. Anyway, it's really good. So now, I'm going to eat it. <laughs> I eat pasta very messy. Time for dinner. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Very good. Mm, very good. When the head gets to bobbing, it means it's good. Sometimes the simplest dishes are the best. So I was talking about what I fed my dogs. So, and first of all, this is not a, uh, I am not sponsored by this particular item. And I would greatly love to be because I'm just going to tell you right off the bat, it's very, very expensive. Um, but the good thing about it is that all the money that is spent on it goes to the charity, uh, a, a, not a charity, but a dog rescue. I was watching uh, YouTube, as I frequently do, and on came a, you know, a commercial break. And normally, of course, we skip over commercials, right? But this one looked interesting, so I kept it on, and I ended up watching the whole thing. It was quite a long infomercial about this product. And it was by Katherine Heigl. Remember her? She was the blonde from Grey's Anatomy. Uh, Izzy, I think was her name <laughs> in the show. Uh, anyway, it. I listened to the whole thing and I was really drawn in and I thought, well, it sounds amazing. 
So let me check it out. So I decided I would buy it. It's called Badlands Ranch. And it is made with beef, really good quality beef, good quality salmon. It's got blueberries. I don't have the list here. I don't have the right glasses on to see this. Bear with me. As they say, bear with. Bear with. Um, beef, beef heart, beef liver, salmon, flaxseed. That's the order. You, know, you have to put though the item first that is the most of what's in something, whether it's human food or whatever, right? So flaxseed, sweet potato, pumpkin, calcium, carbonated carrots, broccoli, chia seeds, blueberry, ginger, salt, turmeric, lion's mane, mushroom, which is apparently very good for dogs. And then all of the, the nutrients, so like zinc, iron, vitamin, blah, 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 all the vitamins, folic acids, things like that. I don't know. For years, I have suffered with guilt feeding my dogs dry dog food um put these on so i can see can't see my computer screen very well without my computer glasses uh even though i buy a pretty good quality dried dog food it just you just know <laughs> there's just no telling what kind of crap is in there literally i mean and, the, you know, I have two dogs. Rocky is mostly black lab. And like a lot of labs, he's just a food hound. Lives for food. He runs to his bowl. And, you know, if I don't move fast enough, he's whining and barking at me. And he just inhales his food. And where Shadow looks at the bowl. And I'll say, eat. And he'll look at me. And then he looks at the bowl. And then I feel guilty. And I say, eat. And he looks at the bowl. And then he eats. He eats because he knows if he doesn't eat it, then Rocky will eat it. Uh, and his energy level is great, you know, but he's a young, energetic, working line German Shepherd, so they have a ton of energy. But one thing I noticed about him is that his his coat is thick, but it, it's a little, it was just felt dull, and he's was a little itchy, and his skin a little bit flaky. So I thought, what the heck, I'm going to give it a try. Now, I've been using this for about two and a half, three months now. And wow, what a difference in his coat. It's soft. Uh, he's not itchy anymore. Not flaky. His energy level is always high, so I can't really tell by that. And more importantly, he... Well, not more importantly, but he also just loves to eat now. He runs to his dish just like Rocky. <sighs> Again, disclaimer, it's very expensive. And if he were to eat just this, he needs almost five cups a day. But it's not... It's, it's freeze-dried, so it's... You know, um, lasts forever. I mean, not forever, but it lasts for a very long time. Um, so what I do, if you have a small dog, it would be very easy to feed this, but with two big dogs, especially one as big as he is, weighs like 90 pounds. So what I do is I've been doing half and half. Um, and like I said, he, he just absolutely loves it. So if you want to check it out, um, you can take my word for it that it really is good. It, it seems to be really good for the dog, and I think that, unlike a lot of things nowadays that we see on TV, I think it's what they're saying about it really is true, that it is a good quality, good food, and that the great thing, too, is, again, that the money's going to help homeless dogs, so um, good on her for, for doing it. And again, Catherine, <laughs> if you're listening and you want to sponsor me, uh, or, you know, or give me, what do you call it? endorsed by this so that I get this food for free so I could feed just this that would be amazing thank you very much the chances of that happening are not very good but if a lot of you go and buy it and say hey we heard it from Linda Edder and she said it's great who knows maybe they would actually do that anyway give it a try it really is good stuff in fact it's so good that I think I could eat it literally I mean I really think I could eat it so I'm thinking right now what I should do. Maybe I should just stock up on this, you know, just pack it away because it's freeze dried and just have a massive stash of this so that I have something to eat for the, the coming apocalypse, right? <laughs> anyway, my two cents on dog food. You want to fix your hair or your makeup right now? Just kidding. <laughs> or if you want to put a part where I make, I could purposely do a bad note where it makes you laugh. I, we, I could put this section in right here because it's you know made a vlog that's all kind of like my whole day and yeah. since that's how my evenings generally end is with the lessons we could say and this is how the evening ended <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> there you go. <laughs> Never, 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 never. I miss I miss my entrance because of And go into all of this get into the phrases and try to practice cutting off the enoughs and the me's with that kind of energy. And quicker breaths, getting quicker breaths, quicker support to get, then sing the next line. It's that because whole business of, of really a crisp cutoff of the enough and immediately the core working to go get that breath. Though right. That's the parts of the sun that you actually need to practice because you can hit all the notes. It's the in between the lines that you need to strengthen and practice. The because cutoffs and the reattacking. It's that, <gasps> right? We right. immediately exhale into the inhale. That's the part that has to get fast. Never enough. Never so enough. You inhale See how slow the inhale is? Yeah. That's what's taking your time. you got to speed up your inhale. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. It's, it's that fast, right? <laughs> That looked funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Enough. Enough. For me, for me, for me. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, that does help, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is my present self talking to my future self, saying, That was all, folks. That's the end of the vlog. I have no idea what was in it because I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> you have, but I haven't. Hopefully it was interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you around. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Remember, it's absolutely free. It comes with no attachments at all. Just hit the subscribe. It helps my numbers. And if you do want to be notified when I put out a new video, because you know they are sporadic, then just hit the bell icon and that will send you an email to let you know that I have a new video out. Okay? All right. See you around. And then at the end of the day, it's almost 11 o'clock at night, and I'm going out to feed the horses, and it's snowed. The first snow.